Hello. Welcome to another episode of Holly D Live. I'm Holly D and I'm here with the one, the only, classic. classic. Introduction done. Let's move on past it. <laughs> <laughs> we tonight we're gonna ask some silly questions and uh, see see what the answers are. Sounds good. Take it away, Jace. Alright. If you were a circus performer, what would you do? And what would your costume look like? Ooh, that's a tough one. So these are for both of us? I I suppose. We can play that game. If you were a circus performer, what would you do and what would your costume look like? Right. I think oh I'd my be a tightrope walker. God, dude. I'm thinking about American Horror Story Freak Show right now. But but the lion tamer outfit seems so much cooler. <laughs> Ooh, the outfits. I would choose nakedness over outfits on that. Oh, naked circus? Yes, just fuck Be it. like the aristocrats. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, be doing trampies acts and stuff. Uh, I, I would probably do some spread leg shit of sorts. Yeah. Some, just, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, dude. Maybe some tightrope walking, some, oh, I would breathe fucking fire. Ooh, Ooh I would breathe fire. That's a good one. Out of my boobs, dude. Ouch. That, I know, that, but you know I've done it. That anyway. sounds like a trick. But I know, but <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm scared to ask this one. Uh, Shoot, man. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found under your bed? Ooh. What's the weirdest thing y'all have found under your bed? I'd love Ooh. to. We'd love to hear comments. Oh. I'm trying to figure out this live shit, and then you know, I we can go live on Facebook, but. Oh, what do you? What's yours, Jason? We can bring Jason? these up if if uh, your audience like. Yeah. If your audience wants to discuss it, uh, it's the weirdest thing I ever found under my bed. Oh. Uh, can we define weird? <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know, bro. Weird's pretty weird. I mean, <laughs> it's just weird. I don't. I, mean, I guess. Are we just, talking like the oddest thing, like that you I, weren't expecting? Yeah, I guess like, so. Oh, oddest thing that we weren't expecting. Oh, um, there's definitely a time uh, someone else's driver's license was under my bed. Okay, that is pretty weird. It, it was. It was pretty odd because uh, if anything, that should have been like. In their purse or in my car? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, okay. Awesome. Yeah, that's true. That is that is a weird thing to find under your bed. Um, weirdest thing I found under my bed. Let's see something that's not gross. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. I I, <laughs> I skipped some gross ones. Yeah, it's because I you have to skip some grody ones. <laughs> oh shit! Oh uh, shit! The weirdest thing I've ever found. Or I ha- now I'm going through time under uh, all my fucking beds now. My twin bed, my other twin bed, my full bed, my other full bed, my queen bed. What did I find? A hacky sack with pot in it. (laughs) Nice. I can't even begin to tell you how that happened, but it was open and there was pot in it. And I was like, happy birthday to me. So, moving on. That amazing. I know, it was a great day. (laughs) Which celebrity would you want to be stuck in an elevator with? Ooh, John Lithgow. All day. (laughs) Ah... See, you know, I don't John really Lincoln. know celebrities, but you know, uh, or Jack Black on my end. Uh, maybe uh, Casey Calais or, or how do you Colby say? Calais? No, oh, that would be a nice. One. <laughs> uh, but, Bubbly. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, yes, yeah, I've actually met her though. Uh, oh, that cool. Would be a new, Neat one. Um, that's another story. Uh, no, uh, 
the girl who played Penny on The Big Bang Theory. Uh, oh shit! Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that that'd be my. The chick choice. everybody uh, crushed on. Oh, everybody's still crushing on. Yeah. Me. Oh please. Uh, That's awesome. That is a great pick, Jace. Right. Yeah. If I'm stuck in an elevator with someone, I mean. <laughs> She's fucking hilarious too, dude. Maybe in a Kendrick though. She's hilarious. Yeah, she's funny yeah. as fuck. <laughs> That's a great pick too, dude. Uh, or, oh, uh, I don't know. Picking Natalie Portman's brain might be Natalie Portman. She's done some fucked up movies, dude. That, well, that's true. That's true. Uh, okay. Uh, let's move on to the next question. If you wrote your autobiography, what would you call it? Ooh. Story of your life. What would you call that? Times of cock tease here and now. <laughs> mm. Then and now. <laughs> what about you, Jace? Take your time. Uh, like I said, we've got plenty of time. I don't know. Like... I kind of like the idea of the babble. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just a bunch of gibberish and nonsense to quote Shakespeare. Or, um, I don't know. <laughs> if I were writing it, I suppose I would call it uh, my best guess at the end. All right. Very yes, good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, if your personality was bottled, what would it be called? Ooh. Excedrin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love ibuprofen. <laughs> uh, what about you, Jace? Uh, my personality was bottled. Ooh, that's a tough one. Sometimes I'm like, I have a personality? What is that? Um, uh, if my personality would bother me. Uh, I think maybe they'd call it Devil's Advocate or... Uh, Devil's Advocate? Or Philosopher's Stone. or. Oh. You know what I think would be a great one for you? What? Doomed for success. <laughs> <laughs> Doomed for success. Oh, that would, that you don't like one. that, dude? I just thought of it, and it's totally you, man. Doomed for success. Doomed for success. <laughs> Sorry, I've known I've known classic here for a long, long time. So we've we have we have gone through the shit, the ringer together. All uh, right. Well. We've got about three more questions. Three more questions for you. And then we're going to... Sign off. Sign off. and But stay tuned. Never know what will come up next. True. All right. What do you think life will be like in a hundred years? So... From today. twenty From 2020, the year 2020, it would be... Right. Jesus. 3020. 3020? No. <laughs> we ain't gonna last that long, dude. <laughs> we ain't gonna last It'll that long. It'll be 2120. Oh, okay, my bad. We're not gonna last that long. <laughs> Weird. Oh, hold on. Weird science. The bullshit oh. comes about every day now. Oh, that. Hey, I take that in stride and I reverse my comment. We might last that long. Uh, yeah, but nobody said we'd be happy about it. <laughs> Very true. Uh, but yes, what would life be would like? Life be like in what do you years? think, Jason? Um, well, that really depends on uh, what life's like. I'm try imagining life a hundred years back and then coming forward to today. Like, um, cars are going to be flying, maybe? Like the Jetsons? I don't think so. <laughs> I think there'd be too many collisions, like... Uh, really, I do. Like, uh, transit would be probably uh, better done in, like, hubs. 
Hubs. Okay. Hubs and then uh, then smaller transport out. Um, you know, specialists would would uh, maybe travel. I don't know. Um, and of course, you have vacation, luxury travel. Um, hundred years from now, as long as the human race doesn't blow itself up or anything crazy. Uh, True. I imagine you'll be able to catch a train that will take you from Alaska to the tip of South America. Oh, that's that's pretty awesome. All right, a monorail of sorts, and uh, I don't know. Maybe Russia might think that was pretty cool too. <laughs> and China would probably definitely think it was dope, but they wouldn't want to share it with anyone. I think every bit of China is going to be computer. Uh, well, they wouldn't want a, a true uh, Silk Road, as it were. Um, right. What would sex be like in 100 years? Oh. Well, we're already starting to see like these sex bots and tender and all these yeah. m- weird innovations to life that supposedly make it easier and more convenient yet at the same time um, you're seeing like a decline in population in places like Japan and China right? because people are so anxious they won't talk to one another yeah uh, technology has created social anxiety for so many people because they're used to communicating now through text message, through messenger, through whatever, online. Well, and, you know, they finally meet people and they're nervous as fuck because, they, you know, like, people don't sit down and have conversations at the bar anymore, it seems. This is pre-COVID, I guess. Well, in... In a generation past, um, there was kind of like the age-old tradition of that first, hey, I really like you letter. Like, that led led up to, like, even going on a date, you know? Because people had approach anxiety since the dawn of time. Very true. But now that we have instant gratification, instant communication... Yeah. One of the biggest problems we have with instant gratification and communication is send, oh, and wait. We're hoping for instant reply, and near instant reply is almost always a bad sign. Yeah. (laughs) But we expect it now. Like, we... We've been catered to that oh okay I sent you a text why aren't you texting me back oh no yeah you must not like me it's not uh, not oh you're probably busy and uh, oh even if you did see this you probably have something going on you know because people are people living their lives but yeah I don't know, how'd we get off onto that tangent? A uh, hundred years from hundred now, years what would life now? be like? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought that was awesome. Very educational, Jace. Jace is very knowledgeable. What's up? Oh, I don't know. I think we're just going to skip forward to another question because we got lost on a tangent, but it's all right. It was entertaining. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, what's your favorite holiday, and what do you love about it? Ooh. Yeah, you can chime in on Facebook on this, guys. Oh, or YouTube, is, or Twitter. There is no wrong answer. Yeah, there's no wrong answer. It's just perception. Um, I'm probably going to have to say uh, I've always liked the idea of Mardi Gras. <laughs> Mardi Gras is great. Boobs uh, everywhere. Of course. Um, Halloween's also been uh, a favorite for me, me, uh, but... Christmas and Thanksgiving both have like 
traditions to them. Easter is pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easter was never, never quite what Christmas. Uh, right. Promised, but you know, it was still you know, hey, candy. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. So, Me and Classic here had a great St. Patty's Day one day. Oh, we've had many a great St. Patty's Day. Once, we had one good one here. Once your dad called us. <laughs> what? Dad, My dad called us doing what? <laughs> no, no, your dad called us. Oh, he called us. Yes, he called us up to sing <laughs> an Irish uh, folk tune. Oh, yeah, that's right. We were already drunk. We were already shit o faced. Uh, and my dad doesn't drink. Like, if he did drink, he just don't anymore. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's well, good times, dude? <laughs> but anyway, I just want to thank Classic here for. Tune in with me and doing these awesome Q&As. I'm looking forward to your answers. All the questions that we asked, why don't you throw back a comment? What's your favorite holiday? What's life going to be like in 100 years? What's the weirdest thing you ever found under your bed? Yeah, what I want to hear some. What would you want to be stuck in an elevator with? If you had to write your autobiography someday, what would you call it? If your personality was bottled, what would it be called? And if you were a circus performer, what would you do and what would your costume look like? Those are the questions that we asked. And if you want to answer one or all of them, that would be fucking awesome. It's Holly D. And Classic. Signing off. We love you. Peace. Peace.